Hello and welcome to this new episode of I Dream of Wise. Today's episode is called uh, Randomize the Unrandomizable because what we'll talk about today is uh, something related to this, okay? So this is the randomizer. Its symbol, as you know, is this little circle and uh, it allows us to set two different offset, a minimum offset and a maximum offset. So every time we trigger sound, this property uh, gets randomized between those two values and that randomized parameter gets added to the default setting that we put in the regular box on the interface. So the thing is that a lot of parameters in Wise have that randomizer, but some don't. Like for example, here we see the center percentage. It doesn't have a randomizer. Thing is, why would you want a randomizer on the center percentage? Or why would you want a randomizer on, um, I don't know, the decay time of a reverb or the diffusion of a reverb? I don't know, but uh, sometimes you may find yourself in a situation where you really want to randomize a parameter and WISE doesn't allow you to do that. So it turns out there is a way to do that. And I'll show you how in a couple of minutes. The reason why I'm talking about this is because I was taking a look at this plugin earlier. It's called Sound Randomizer, and it's a plugin by Steinberg, and it's included in the latest version of Nuendo, which is Nuendo 8. And as the description says, the sound randomizer creates different variations of a sound simply by adjusting four parameters. The plugin changes pitch, color, timing, and impact of an audio clip, creating completely new sounds and saving you loads of hours of repetitive work. So it sounds extremely cool, right? So I didn't have the chance to try it myself, but I watched a couple of uh, YouTube videos about it. And yeah, I think it's a, a great idea. I'm not always uh, happy with the results I heard on YouTube, but you know, it's a new technology and uh, I don't know, maybe future iterations of the plugin will sound better, but I think it's a very cool concept. The problem is for me that this plugin is supposed to work in this type of workflow. So you create a sound, an asset, and you make it perfect. And then you have to create like three more variations or five more variations. So in your DAW, in Nuendo, you duplicate the sound a bunch of times and you run this plugin on the duplicates. And then you export all of the different assets as uh, five or 10 audio files or whatever. And then you import them uh, in your middleware and you create a random container or whatever, and you're done. The problem here is that you have to create multiple audio files that you'll later import in the middleware. And as sound designers, we usually try to find ways to minimize the memory. So how cool would it be if this plugin worked in real time inside of your middleware? I'm not exactly sure about how this plugin works. I'm sure there's a lot going on, but let's take a look at the parameters. So we have pitch and uh, in WISE, for example, we have pitch randomization. It's not the same thing uh, because I believe by listening to the examples on YouTube that this plugin creates something like a curve, like a pitch curve over the duration of the um, asset. So it's not just transposed, it's a little bit more complicated. Impact, I guess it changes something like the transients of a sound. So I wouldn't really know how to do that in WISE. Timing, I think it changes the pace of the sound. I don't think it's something easily doable within WISE, I guess. And the color, when I read color, I think about frequency spectrum and uh, frequency distribution. And so I think about EQ. So how cool would it be if in WISE we had uh, an EQ and we could randomize its parameters so that every time that we trigger a sound, this EQ changed its frequency content. 
We already sometimes do something similar by using the randomizers on low pass and high pass filters. But, you know, these are a kind of a hard filters, meaning that they cut a lot of frequency content. And um, also we use low pass and high pass filters for obstruction and occlusion. So maybe you don't want to use them for uh, variation purposes as well. So what I did in WISE was uh, creating a parametric EQ because I wanted to randomize its parameters. And as you may have understood by now, its parameters are not randomizable. Okay, so as I said earlier, there is a way to randomize them. It's probably not the most CPU effective way, but there is a way. So the first thing is that I will leave the three bands to their default curves. So low shelf peaking, which is the like a bell filter, and uh, high shelf. And then I will increase the frequency of the low shelf because I want to affect a wider frequency range. And what I want to randomize is the gain of the low shelf. So the way to do it is by going into the RTPC tab and select the, uh, the band gain. And then um, we have four options here. We, have, we can use gain parameters and that's not what we want. We can use some MIDI message, but I can't think of a way we could use MIDI for this. We can use an LFO, and actually there is a way to use the LFO by randomizing the, the initial phase and setting the frequency to zero. But I feel like the easiest way to do it is by instantiating a custom envelope. What we want to do with the envelope is uh, basically make it flat, so make just a constant value. So we don't want an attack. I mean, we want an attack, but we want, it, we want it to be instantaneous, okay? Attack curve can stay as it is because there's actually no attack. Decay time, we don't want it. And uh, what we want to do is randomize the sustain. So it's a good thing that we can do it in here. So let's uh, open the randomizer and set its range from zero to 100. And release time doesn't really matter because we never hit release as we're going to leave our release off. So let's close this. In here, I actually already created an EQ with uh, a bunch of parameters that are randomized in the same way with the envelope, okay? So the parameters that are randomized are gain one, gain two, and gain three. And I also randomized the frequency of band two because I want to create a peak or a scoop on a random frequency. And the frequency goes from 150 to 2000 Hertz in my example. And I think this is a nice way to add some random resonances to your sound. So this is it. And let's see if it actually works and how it sounds. Now, my EQ settings are quite hard. As you can see, the randomization goes from like minus 24 to plus 3 for all the bands. But it's just so that we can better hear the effect. It's very interesting, in my opinion, to hear what the band 2 does. So it emphasizes sometimes certain frequencies, sometimes others. It, it really changes the sound. And right now, we were playing just one sound and uh, we didn't have any other variation. We could introduce pitch randomization or volume randomization as well, so that we could achieve a much wider range of variations. But I think that randomizing the EQ, I'm sure it's not something you would do all the time, but I think it's something to keep in mind that we can do this and that we can use um, envelopes to randomize a parameter that it's not supposed to be randomized. So I hope you liked this video and uh, see you next time.